Greetings programs, welcome back to Arc Neo Reviews where I am both dealing with bad internet and actually a storm outside, which is probably what's causing the bad internet. So I have to make a smaller, simpler video here that I can actually upload from my phone. Um, hopefully Wednesday I'll be able to do the video I wanted to do today. But um, today, really quickly, we're going to take a look at the newer Cyberverse Ultimate Class, or Ultra Class figures. These are the Twist Change uh, Optimus and Shockwave. So, um, we'll go over Optimus first here. As you can see, he's a red and blue truck. Very, very uh, kibbly and messy looking. Um, the wheels do work really, really well though. As well as this is a very heavy figure. So... You know, he, he's got a really smooth roll to him. I do have to give props for that. Um, the arms here do not want to stay pegged together, which is annoying. But overall, it's just a big lump of a truck. A little bit of decent paint on the front. You know, uh, Autobot symbols sideways on the side and, you know, smokestacks pointing the entirely wrong way. Um, yeah. So the thing with these guys is they are double gimmick figures. So they're effectively one-step changers on top of having spark armor, as you can very obviously see hanging out the back here. So transforming this guy, super simple. Just going to come back here, fold up the foot lump. That'll come around and it will uh, tab in right there. Form the feet. Stand him up, raise the camera way up, in fact, uh, here, we'll do that, sorry, you're having to deal with me working live this time, I will not be able to do a lot of editing, but you do that, take the front, it will unpeg from tops of the shoulders, right there, and just kind of let it sit uh, forward there. Uh, this part is spring-loaded, so it pulls itself back. Then you're just going to unfold the axe head so it's straight, and just pull up, and the figure will handle the rest of the transformation itself. So, really quick. <laughs> and there you go. You have Ultimate Class Optimus in his robot mode. So, um, there's a little piece back here. You're supposed to be able to push this down and, uh, lock the torso from twisting. It does like to unpeg itself very easily, so good luck with that. Um, and this thing has basically no posability, as well as, uh, this one you can see has very, very floppy arms. Um, spoiler, Shockwave does not have floppy arms. And yes, the, this is intentional flop, not, you know... Uh, QC issue flop. Uh, for actual posability, the arms can rotate full 360, and they have 90 degree bend at the elbow. That's it. <laughs> and um, if you want, you can have him hold the axe. He holds the axe kind of awkwardly. Um, here, I'll take a second. The axe head actually does have some really nice molding. I wish it had some paint, but the molding's nice at least. But, um, yeah, he can't actually hold the axe anywhere down here, where it's all thin and narrow. He has to hold it up here. So, that's, that's kind of the best you get. <laughs> For, in terms of, uh, giving him a weapon. You can have him stand at attention very stoically. So, his other gimmick, the spark armor, very easily activated. There's this little, uh, gray piece down here under the uh, the foot panel. Go ahead and try to make sure that his torso is locked in so it's facing straight. And then we'll just push down on this. And he's too close to the backdrop. Let's try that again. He is still too close to the backdrop. Wow, I am doing wonderfully. <laughs> okay. You gotta bring him up here. Do it this way. There we go. So, um... That gimmick I really like, actually. That That's 
pretty cool. He gets this really neat looking, you know, knight armor set. Just snaps on. Looks cool. Um, to fold the armor up, you will need to push in the shoulder pads, then the chest piece, and then finally the uh, head crest. That will go behind this little uh, black f switch right there. And then when you just push that down into the legs, it holds in. To transform him back into robot mode, all you're going to do is just take the axe and push it back in. Almost everything will auto-morph right there. And then fold this panel back up. And try to get the peg back in. And then put that back up. And there you go. I do mention transforming these guys back. Because uh, the directions on how you do it are not very clear. This guy in particular with the axe gimmick took a while to figure out. Because um, he will not go back into truck mode without putting the axe in his back. So there you have Optimus Prime. And now we will get down to Shockwave. So, as you can see, Shockwave is his usual spider tank mode for the Cyberverse series. Um, the front is uh, quite floppy, unfortunately. Though it does hold itself in position while he's on the ground. Posability wise all you have is that little bit of side to side in the front legs. And you can straighten them out. That is it. Or, you can rotate the shoulder, too. But, uh, yeah, very, very limited posability. And, um, this guy also doesn't transform as smoothly and reliably as Optimus, unfortunately. Hopefully I can get it to work here. But, there's two little, uh, basically finger holes in the back here. You'll hold him down at that point... Turn him around so it'll be a little easier for me. And then actually what activates his transformation is removing this gun that's pegged in uh, right here at the top of his legs. So before you do it, you do want to make sure this little lever is pushed forward. This is the lever that uh, keeps his torso from twisting. You do want to make sure that it's not trying to lock the torso as I knock things off of my desk. Hooray. But, hopefully if I've got everything lined up right here. <laughs> there you go. He spins around, stands up. Go ahead and uh, push this piece down. Get his torso locked in place. Then you're just going to want to rotate his arms around. He does unfortunately have uh, gorilla elbows. Reach in here. Pull out his fist. And then for this arm... You can either fold out his normal little blaster, or there's that groove right there. You can slot this gun over uh, this arm and give him that. As well as worth mentioning, because it's what I quote unquote think you should do with this figure, um, turn his arm hollow point forward. And you can actually slide this gun on the other way so that he has a real elbow. It's still hollow in the front, but if you keep it bent like that, you don't see it. It's worth doing in my opinion. And you can also put this gun on the other arm if you want. Just fold up the fist. Um, as you can see, his shoulders will always just flop around like that, annoyingly. And um, sometimes the leg panels don't go all the way in the front on their own. But this time they did. Uh, obviously, though, they don't just push them around. There's nothing actually keeping them from doing it. So, really quick, his spark armor gimmick is very easy. Just go ahead and pull, uh, pull down on the side skirts. Make sure that I've got him far enough forward this time. And there you go. You get his bright, bright pink uh, Energon armor. Which, funny enough, the eye on this one, it's not his original eye. 
Optimus, it still used, you know, just the normal head sculpt. This one, it, it doesn't. As well as, uh, yeah, he, mine at least, likes to lean forward, which is kind of dumb. But, you know, he, he looks decently cool, I'm not gonna lie. You know, it, it's, it's Shockwave. Shockwave always manages to at least look cool while he stands there. And, um, putting his Energon armor back and everything is pretty simple. Just unfold the big main piece. Bring it all down. It will lock in right there. Sometimes you have to actually pull down on the uh, side skirts to get them to lock over right there. Oh, that's what the problem is. This piece, this piece will just kind of uh, freely spin and flop around, so you have to make sure it stays out. Then just fold the shoulder pads up. And to transform him back, you do have to make sure you have this unpegged. I don't know why it matters, but I can't get him to transform back if that's, you know, not uh, unlocked. Fold the legs out. And then you're going to want to hold him straight because there's actually a little piece right there that's going to extend out and lock the torso straight. So just hold everything in place, fold them forward, and then just, you know, get the legs situated back for spider tank mode. And as you can see, actually, even though the gun is his uh, trigger for transforming, it actually doesn't, you know, uh, arm and get ready to spring load until you actually put the gun in. So it's just these two front uh, tabs right here. They go down into these slots. Now he'll actually spring up. So I do appreciate that he's not sitting there, you know, trying to unload himself the whole time while you don't have this plugged in. That's nice. There is some decent engineering to these guys. Where they let it down is the posability. They they just they really need a little bit more posability, a little bit better arms, and they would have actually been fairly decent. As it is, I'm probably just going to put these guys away in a box until Christmas and use them as nutcrackers. Because let's be honest, the way they pose and they're like overly long proportions in robot mode, these are transformer nutcrackers. So that's what I'm using them for. Uh, yeah, S save your money. Your kids deserve better figures than these. Go get them some of those Cyberverse Deluxe figures. Le leave these on the shelf. So see you guys next time. Hopefully soon I'll be able to get a real video out.